Hey, what's up everybody? This is my review of Creo Transformers Bumblebee. And this figure is small. Now I have not built the robot mode yet. And this is the first mode I built, which is obviously the car mode. And as you can see, it does fit in my hand. It's that small. Uh, as a size comparison here is the Creo next to the Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Bumblebee, which you can see the difference there. And this is, the, I believe, one of the, the, the smallest set of Creos. Uh, you can see here on the box it says 75 pieces. Uh, so this was around $8 at retail. So yeah, nice little uh, vehicle mode. And I guess I don't really mind the fact that it's so small because it really reminds me of the Generation 1 Bumblebee. Uh, toy because you know it was, that too was small as well uh, but you do have a car mode here you can see the Autobot symbol on the top there you've got the Bumblebee sticker in the back with the uh, tail lights and the rear bumper uh, here's a look at the front grille and uh, the undercarriage now it does have wheels it does roll really well as you can see there and they do have some lettering here. It does say on the actual wheel itself, Oxford. I'm not sure why it says that, if that's a reference to something, but on the wheel it does say Oxford. All right, well, this is a look at the vehicle mode. Next, we're going to take a look at the robot mode. And here is Creo Bumblebee in robot mode. Now, there are two things I want to mention before I go on. Uh, first thing is, this particular Bumblebee does not come with the little Creons. Those are the little minifigures that you get with the larger sets. Uh, the second thing is, when you're done building the robot mode, you are left with one single part. And what I like to do with this part is to put it into the hand as if it was some kind of blaster because there isn't really an official weapon for this particular Bumblebee to use. And that does two things. It gives him a weapon, but it also gives you the ability to store the extra part on the figure, and you use all the parts that way. So that's really nice. Uh, size comparison. Here is the size comparison with a can of soda. Uh, you can see there. And just a closer look at the head sculpt here, which is really G1-esque. Articulation, well, the head is on a ball joint. You have shoulder articulation, like so. You have articulation at the elbow. And of course you have the ball joints connecting the legs to the hips, and you have the ball joints at the ankles. In terms of range of articulation, leg can go back like that, leg can go forward, and the leg can go out to the side that far. So overall, I think this is a very nicely proportioned, nice looking robot mode. One of the things I really like about this particular robot mode is everything seems you know, pretty well proportioned. The only thing I don't really like is if you look at the arms from this angle, you know, straight on, the arms are rather thin. I, I think they could have done some more, uh, added some more Creo pieces to make this, this arm bul bulkier. Uh, from the side, it doesn't look that bad, but from the front, looking like this, it uh, looks pretty skinny. Uh, they did a good job on the legs. If you watch my Creo Mirage review, one of the criticisms I had of that particular set was the legs were too long and they were too skinny. But since this is apparently based on the Generation 1 Bumblebee, uh, the size, the height, and everything looks appropriate for a Generation 1-esque Bumblebee. I do have to say, since this figure, this set, is based on the Generation 1 Bumblebee as opposed to the movie Bumblebee, I really like this figure. It's small, but it makes sense because it's based on the small VW bug that we saw Bumblebee transform into in the first Generation 1 cartoon. So I really think it fits the character of Bumblebee uh, to have a small set like this. I would say the robot mode looks better than the vehicle mode. 
The vehicle mode, yes, it's small, but again, it's supposed to be small. I mean, this is Generation 1 Bumblebee we're talking about. The design is all right. I would say maybe a 6 out of 10 for the vehicle mode, and probably a 8 out of 10 for the robot mode. All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been my review of Transformers Creo Bumblebee.